special guest appearance today. We are riding with Brett Turcott, uh, heading to Eagles Pass. Going to meet up with him and then kind of figure out a plan for the day. He said to bring scoop shovels, so I imagine we're going to be building some jumps. And I know he's on his 146 9R, so that sounds like a jumping day to me. Zach! Dude, are you ready to rip or what? Brett beat us to it, he's already vlogging. Oh my god, we're, we're too slow. <laughs> That's okay, we got the bigger camera. Hey! Is that the gnarliest part of the day? I don't think I can handle much more. <laughs> The fact that there's so many scoop shovels has it's pretty optimistic that something cool is going to happen. flip hit. Yeah. I'll go uh, set up with my camera real quick. Yeah, the, the first one still came around really smooth. It was kind of like barrel. Yeah, it was. Bit. And that one I pulled straight back and then like corked it in upside down. Yeah, you're a little farther away from the ground on the second one. So like <laughs> it made, made for a better shot, yeah. but both were so sick. Sick, dude. Nice work. See the cabin still. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, within sight of the cabin. Hell yeah. On to the next. <laughs> yeah, boys. Yeah, dude. Good <laughs> work, man. Clean as fuck. Yeah, that last one is so oh, rad. Chase, I've never seen someone go down the hill like that before. Uh, it's a new technique. Oh. My heart, so I go. Let's paint it 
only thing I see, I want victory. I let the devil come for me, I said victory. I let the problems come for me, that's right, victory. Right when the demons come for me, that's right, victory. That is the only thing I see, I want victory. I let the devil come for me, I said victory. I let the problems come for me, that's right, victory. Right when the demons come for me, Make a deposit, leave them with some knowledge Honey, granted, I ain't safe to college My kids gon' get all this Uncle Sam, what at all when he got it? Even the lamb when I caught it Add it up, no we got the problem Get out the way if you fight trying to solve it Let's it all, yeah We in all, yeah Yeah, 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 Hey, how smooth do you want it up here? You want these bumps out, or are these okay? I think they're okay because I'll wheelie until I get to here, but pretty much just like where the sled is. Yeah, that so needs to be smoothed and packed. Yeah, we're good there. Close. I was thinking sloping it just a hair to the right. Yeah, to pull the yeah so it pulls you right off the whole thing. 100%. <laughs> Caleb, your favorite activity. <laughs> what uh what type of mental prep you doing right now brad looking at acceleration points where i need to be like body position wise and stuff um mentally i already know the speed and it's as fast as i could possibly go but like there is a little bit of science that went into that as well you know i didn't just like smack it first hit i got a feel for the jump jumped it kind of halfway that seems to be my technique on the on the snowmobile is uh play the safe card and I have a really good judge of my own speed, my own capability. So half jumping stuff or three quarters jumping really gives me an idea of, you know, the, the actual speed that I'll need. Yeah, almost like it's a gap. So obviously you can't jump and land on the knuckle, but you, it looked like you went as big as you could without hitting the knuckle. And then you're like, okay, now I know how much faster I need to go to clear it. Exactly. And I mean, that just comes from being on the snow, being in the snow. And years of experience jumping. How's the jump? <laughs> the cool thing is watching you jump, like I can tell it's not high consequence what you're doing because you're so skilled. Like yeah. you, you know exactly where you're gonna put the sled and it takes a lot of the risk out of it. You're not just out hucking your meat. That's right, I mean, that's kind of the way that I shaped my career right from the start is I wanted some longevity and 35 now, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So play the safeguard, have fun, catch some air. Enjoy the sunshine. All right, let's hit this one today. Somebody <laughs> should go right in the gut of this with a cell phone and shoot it on wide angle. Caleb, so that'll be the. Be nice, say please. I'm not the one hitting it. So I'm just I'm <laughs> the director here. Yeah, Caleb's I'm the, the DP. scene director. The director of hey, Caleb's DP. <laughs> I don't know if I like the word DP you know, nope. with my name. <laughs> <laughs> it's that director one. of photography. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you have a small moment of panic on the the first big hit when you went to the bottom or did you feel pretty good about riding it out? I was in the air and I was like, ah, oh, this feels really high. And then I was like, it looks like I'm gonna land uphill. And I landed and I had like one of those small blackout moments, you know, like when you get a concussion or you knock yourself out, you land and it's just black or like bright and then black. But it was just the visor screw broke cause my GoPro's attached to it. Uh, so I like rode out, smacked my GoPro lid up and I was like, kind of came to i'm like oh i didn't go out this is sick <laughs> uh, but we just did such a better job uh on the lip i just had so much more speed than my first hit so uh went long on one got one pretty sick and then the third and final one that i was like the most insane feeling got up into the arc of the air like dropped the nose and just like sat there and chilled felt like forever and then a uh, little bit of gas and set it into the training so. yeah the landing looked butter yeah, I mean, um, no blood in my nose really anymore, so that's good. <laughs> uh, on to the next, I guess. Nice work, dude. Thanks, I'm pumped to see that.
The 165 boost is out of fuel, but my 146 that Chase is riding still has quite a bit because he's been shooting so much content all day. So we're gonna take the 70 to 200 and shoot some photos right over here and then some slow motion video clips as well because the sunset's pretty amazing. It's pretty good. And it's all on track. I can't beat, you can't beat good light. Right. <laughs> this is a filmer's wet dream. <laughs> like a gallon and a half at the cabin but I didn't make it to the cabin so we got to do the old uh, tip the sled on its side trick again I uh, burn a lot of fuel when I ride a boost at least uh, we've got a view what a phenomenal day it was sick to see Brent throw down today we saw everything from double grabs indie grabs uh, gap step down and backflip so pretty insane to see someone throw down that much in a single day. Um, it was super rad riding with them and I uh, definitely hope I get to do it again soon.